Sharing Economy, Growth versus Development Part 1 Settling Society Needs with Nature Restrictions Through the Sharing Economy Growth It could be defined as an increase in output, being simply a way to measure that we have more of something. Progressive authors state growth is not environmentally sustainable. Even financial growth, which we may think is indefinite, must meet the constraints of space and time when it reaches the market. However growth of our economy it is no longer driven by genuine needs, but by the need of having more, newer stuff. Active pursuit of this does not make people happy even when they reach the goal, because they are continuously craving for more things. A vehement of constant growth is really an unsustainable illusion, based on non-rational exploitation of people and natural resources, especially in poorer countries where the gap between the highest and lowest incomes is widest. In the end, continued exploitation of resources comes to a break point where crisis arises, then a new need is generated. Its resource is found and the cycle restarts. Historically the cycle is shorter than before. Therefore, we need to find a way out from the cycle. Development means increasing quality of life, specifically human well-being. Development assessment refers to quantitative as well as qualitative changes in the social fabric which reveal the quality of life a society has achieved. Quality of life is estimated by measuring first quantitative expansion in the volume of social activities, second qualitative expansion in the content of all those elements that make up the social fabric, third geographic extension of the social fabric to bring more of the population under the cover of that fabric. Fourth, integration of existing and new organizations so that the social fabric functions more efficiently. Society's Goal Growth versus Development While growth as a goal for societies set us in the race to gather more stuff only for the sake of having a higher social ranking, disregarding everything else, even the environment more like itself, finally taking ourselves to a path of auto-destruction. Development as a goal takes our efforts to a whole different playground. Focusing on this last concept, we would need to gather material goods to meet our own definition of well-being. Therefore, we would not do anything consciously to harm our life or anything that supports it. Further, we would be set to try our hardest to find whatever makes our life better and enhance it by all means. The Sharing Economy The Sharing Economy, also known as Collaborative Consumption Model, is on its way. To achieve a society that focuses on well-being development, not just growth. In some way, it is the next step in the human social and economical evolution. In this document the potential benefits and flaws, or how this new concept works, will not be discussed because there are other sources that talk about that extensively. Links to those sources are provided in the description. Rather, it is important to know the effects this idea has in our society.
it is not surprising that the big boom of sharing came between the years 2008 to 2010 when the financial collapse hit hard. Now, with the support of new information technologies, peer-to-peer -peer rental seen by many as the best way to find the good they need for short periods of time, while at the same time it provides financial gain to the other party, but collaboration does not stop there. Peer-to-peer -peer rental is the area of this new concept, which is better known to regular people. This strategy relies on the power of internet to connect owners of underused assets with others willing to pay to use them. The internet allows peers to connect in an easy and affordable way. Surfing the internet you can find plenty of sharing services for communities around the developed world, from renting goods like tools, bicycles, even boats, for short periods of time. Space rental is also very popular, renting the room or shed space you have to spare. With the newest mobile applications, it is even possible to find a ride you could take in real time, using a peer-to-peer -peer taxi service. Though peer-to-peer -peer rental is not a solution for everybody, it is difficult at least to use this system without having universal internet access. This is likely the biggest challenge which needs to be solved in developing countries for peer-to-peer -peer rental. Collaborative Finance 1. Microloans Working together people can reduce poverty while they offer their own communities with new sources of work by supporting entrepreneurs to grow their businesses. 2. Crowdfunding Is an alternative for independent developers to find funding for their projects among the community. The proposal becomes publicized online where people can review it along with the public profile of the author. If someone is willing to support the project he gets exclusive access and rewards. The method is all or nothing. The developer sets a funding goal. If the goal is reached then people are charged via Amazon payments, and the founders get their rewards, otherwise no funds are charged.